Welcome to Jay Dude's Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ring of Honor Best in the World 2017. The opening tag team match between the Kingdoms, Matt Trevor and Vinny M against El Terrible and Ultimo Dragon was pretty good and fun as riding troublesome tracks at Everview Park, but also disjointed with a really flat as paper finish to add salt to the womb. The strap match between Frankie Kazarian and Adam Page was tip top but was missing something to take it to the next level. The eight man losing team disbands tag team match. It was Cirque and Destroys Alex Shelley, Jonathan Grisham, Chris Saban, and Jay Wright against Rebellion's Kenny King. Tread Titus, Cap Rice Coleman, and Shane Taylor was fun as Ryan Bizarro at Six Flags New England and fast pace with all action to boot, but lacked any real drama. The J. Lepo Cyrus Young match, or Cyrus Young was very ship shaped despite the slowest snail start, but the finish was completely anticlimactic as hell. Seriously, I seen better finishes on mecha builders. The six man tag team championship match between Bully Ray and the Briscoes Mark and Jay against Dawson Castle and the boys. Despite the action being average, the story overall was awesome. The TV championship match between Boy Scroll and Cass Haida was really great with both guys putting effortlessly effort. Do you kick it up a notch? The three way tag team tornado match for the tag team championship. That's the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, War Machines, Hanson, Raymond Roll, and Best Friends, Trent and Chuck. Was fun as Ryan Yankee Campbell at Canby Lake Park and Balls All Action Crazy with excellent timing execution to boot up some more. The World Championship Main Event between Cody Rhodes and Christopher Daniels was overall first rate, but sadly the teenage style interference and the flat as a bookmark finish kept Seth Bell from being a match of the year candidate. I give this event a 7 out of 10, a 7 out of 10.